What's up guys, BSD Spear here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys and going over the entire quest line of how you can earn the brand new pinnacle weapons in Destiny 2 for Season 5. There is a Gambit weapon, there is a Vanguard weapon, as well as a new Crucible weapon, and I'm going to be showing you guys all of the quest steps for all three weapons in today's guide. So if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like down below, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more Destiny 2 content. With that being said, let's get straight into today's guide. Alright, so as I mentioned before, we have three brand new pinnacle weapons to chase in Season 5 of Destiny 2. Let's go ahead and go over the first one, which is going to be the Vanguard weapon, and it's the Loaded Question. It's a high-impact fusion rifle, and it has a unique perk that's called Reservoir Burst. So what it does is when the battery's full, your next burst deals additional damage and causes enemies to explode on death. Uh, so this fusion rifle, unfortunately, it does look just like the main ingredient, so it is a reskin. Uh, but this fusion rifle is probably the one that I'm most excited to chase down in regards to the three brand new pinnacle weapons. The reason being, it is a high impact fusion rifle in year two of Destiny 2, and that means it could be pretty good in the Crucible if you have the right rolls on it. Now the thing I'll be interested to know is if the explosion on death is a perk uh, that activates all the time or if it's just uh, whenever you have the uh, battery full. We'll I'll just have to wait and see uh, when the gun is actually available. Now to earn the loaded question, you're going to need to pick up a quest from Zavala once Season 5 starts later on today. And the three objectives you need to complete can be done at any time. You can do them all at the same time as well. So you're going to need to get 500 fusion rifle kills in any strike or nightfall. Uh, 1,000 arc kills in any strike or nightfall, and to get 40 strike or nightfall completions. Once you get all three of these objectives completed, head back to Zavala, and that's where you're going to be able to receive your fully masterworked loaded question. Now, like I said before, I'm really interested to see what perks is going to roll on this fully masterworked uh, loaded question, but this is probably the one weapon of the three that I'm most excited for um, to use in Crucible. It's also going to be really good in PvE, uh, so let me know your guys' thoughts down below on the loaded question. Alright, so next up we have the pinnacle weapon for Gambit in Season 5, and that is going to be the Breakneck, which is a precision uh, auto rifle in the kinetic slot. So Breakneck has a unique perk called Onslaught. The weapon's rate of fire increases as you stack a Rampage. So as you guys know, Rampage is a very potent and powerful uh, perk. A lot of people go for Rampage on different random rolled weapons. Uh, so the fact that you can increase your rate of fire as you stack Rampage is definitely pretty interesting. Uh, the one thing I think that this weapon might fall uh, short of is the same problem people uh, were kind of turned away from Horror Story. Horror Story uh, would have been a lot better if it had Kill Clip uh, because auto rifles with Rampage is kind of difficult uh, if you don't have the right reload speed or the right magazine size to compensate for that. So uh, that is my one main concern for this weapon, but like I said, we'll have to see uh, once the weapon is live and people have their hands on it, what the perks are actually on the breakneck. Now, to earn the breakneck, you're going to have to pick up the quest from the Drifter once Season 5 starts, and same thing with the uh, Fusion Rifle, all the objectives can earn progress at the same time. So, you're going to need to get 500 auto rifle kills, uh, I'm assuming in Gambit, uh, 100 auto rifle multi kills in Gambit. Uh, 150 challenging enemies defeated and complete 40 gambit matches so this is a, a little bit more time consuming it seems like uh, but it doesn't seem too challenging at all once you complete all of the objectives you head back to the drifter and he's going to give you a fully masterworked breakneck now let me know your guys thoughts down below a lot of people are saying that this weapon won't live up to the hype that they're trying to make it out to be uh, but honestly i think it could be good if they fix that one problem i mentioned earlier uh, with either the reload speed or the magazine size uh, not compensating for it being an auto rifle auto rifles are not really in a good spot right now so a lot of people aren't really appealed to use them so hopefully we'll see if the breakneck can shake things up a little bit all right so last but not least the third brand new pinnacle weapon we have this season is going to be the mountaintop which is a lightweight grenade launcher in the kinetic slot now currently there's only one other kinetic grenade launcher that is 
the Malicious Birthright, which is a uh, Nightfall exclusive weapon. Uh, so there's only going to be two in the game as far as we know, uh, and this one comes from the Crucible Pinnacle uh, weapon slot. Now the Mountaintop's unique perk is called Micro Missile. This weapon fires in a straight line and has a massively increased projectile speed. So basically, uh, instead of shooting a typical grenade that you can bounce off of walls, you shoot it in a straight line that explodes on impact. Now there is a um, there is an option you can select um, sticky grenades on the grenade launcher itself. Uh, so if you choose to go with a more tactical approach, as they say, um, that c could you know work for you. Personally, I kind of like the look of this weapon. I like the idea of this weapon, uh, but it's going to be really interesting because grenade launchers. Uh, much like auto rifles are not really in a good spot a lot of people don't use them uh, but it does seem like the people that do use them um, are very good with them so i think grenade launchers kind of work well with when they're paired with other weapons so like i could see someone running this grenade launcher with like a luna's howl for example um, i think that could be a good combination but let me know your guys' thoughts down below on the mountaintop now to actually earn the mountaintop this quest is going to be a lot more lengthy uh, because it is the crucible pinnacle weapon uh, than the previous two so the first step you're going to have to reach glory rank of brave within a season so that's basically rank one uh, within a season once you complete that uh, each objective earns you progress per action in any playlist, and players can earn substantial bonus progress by completing these objectives in the competitive playlist. So what that means is that this pinnacle weapon is no longer locked to just competitive, however if you do these objectives in competitive you'll earn substantial bonus progress uh, towards each objective so for the next objective you're gonna have to get grenade launcher kills and you need 750 points in total if you do this in quick play that means it's gonna take 250 grenade launcher kills and if you do this in competitive it's gonna take 75 grenade launcher kills now the next step after that is gonna be multi kills you need 200 points again uh, if you do this in quick play each double down is gonna be two points and every multi kill after that is gonna be an additional one if you do this in competitive that means every double down is going to be five points and every additional multi kill after that is going to be two points again you need 200 points in total to complete this objective now the next objective is going to be to get the calculated trajectory medals and again you can do this in quick play or competitive but you need a hundred points now what that means is in quick play it's going to take a hundred of these medals and in competitive it's going to take 25 of these medals now this medal calculated trajectory you get this from in a single life if you get three grenade launcher kills so you're going to want to stick with your grenade launchers when grinding for this quest step after that you're going to need to hit the fabled rank in the competitive playlist for glory and once you do that you're able to reach the mountaintop and return to uh shacks and he's going to have the uh, mountaintop ready for you so overall not too bad at all it's not too lengthy like the broadsword or uh, luna i think it is going to be easier to get than uh, luna's howl but it is going to be a bit annoying uh, because everyone's going to be grinding for this thing everyone's going to be using grenade launchers and i think it's a good way to shake things up uh, in the crucible scene so let me know your guys' thoughts down below all right guys well that's gonna wrap it up for today's video thank you so much for watching if you guys did enjoy be sure to do me a favor and drop a like down below share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more destiny 2 content thank you so much for watching again and i will see you guys in the next one